You see something? Oh crap. Throttle, open up the clutch a little bit to give you <laughs> And he is a YouTuber, so he should know anything. <laughs> I knew he would blame us. <laughs> what's up, big guy? How you doing? Good. Sandy, what's hey, up? Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, How brother. How you doing? What's up, buddy? What's up, man? How you doing? Good, good. Hey, guys. In Ooh, real life. I see, here. I see him in real life. <laughs> oh, man, in real life, you're looking really good. Let's get it set up, Let's get it set up. That's nice. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, look at that. The preloader mobile. Sweet. Yeah, man, we're about to have some fun. How long you guys been here? Ah, oh, three hours. 15, 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's crazy. You guys. At first I said, maybe they didn't bring the weather. But if you, you were looking at the forecast before you hear 70s. When you leave, 70s. <laughs> I believe you. This has been really cold. But we're used to this. Exactly. <laughs> Look at his rig. Look at this setup. Some slow speed maneuver. Really cool. We're gonna get schooled. Actually, look, you look cold. Yeah, I'm I'm nervous. I am nervous. I'm good now, man. He's tall. We He's tall. We can get it in, man. Very good to see you guys. Taller than John, I think. He's tall. He's tall. John, yeah. John's, John's He's tall. taller than me. He said he's six. Keep He's got six, every time I see him, he's got bigger sneakers. <laughs> This guy, so he can't even get it off the. She's a beauty. Oh, it's nice. It's a nice bike. It's your color schemes, right? Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Nice, sounds beast. That's how they set it up. I thought you were using a, a landscape trail. My lawn, my mother-in-law's lawn, and my mother's lawn. Yeah. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Check the mic and make sure it sounds <laughs> right, boy. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. And he is a YouTuber, so he should know anyway. Who is this thing? <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to, like I said, we're going to be doing a private lesson. These guys are nice enough to allow me to film it. Because they're going to be filming too. So, you know, why not? But anyway, what's your name, sir? Mr. Mr. Scott from all right, if you guys don't know about Cycle Fanatics, that's your YouTube channel, right? That's right. Yeah. If you guys don't know about the channel, check them out. Good, good stuff. 5 p.m. Uh, we had tonight. Post pipe, about 114 horsepower. It has... Uh, collaborating. <laughs> collaborating between YouTubers to get max exposure. This beautiful sport glide. That's right, going to be right. raffled. Right, guys, go to, to www.cycle-fanatics. <laughs> I'll edit that out. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'm, if I win this motorcycle, I have plans for it. What the plans are right now, I'm not sure. But I, it's a practice bike, maybe. Who knows? Anyway, what would you rate your slow speed skills? Slow speed, I'd say eight. Eight is of, good. Out of 100. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you're in good trouble, Sandy. No, no, no I'm like a two max. That's, okay. Yeah. Now, you're a pilot. I am. What kind of planes do you fly? Car... See Robert just uh, just uh, had a short interview with me. Such a nice guy, such a nice guy. I'm meeting I'm meeting him in person for the first time. Tell you what, this guy is really nice. He's going through each and every one of our 
uh, the people that are going to be here today in this private course that we're having right now. It's Glenn, Glenn with him. It was John before, and Camilo is next. Really cool dude. Really cool dude. Learning skills, slow speed, one to ten, ten being the best. What would you give yourself? I would say. I'm still stuck at a, like about a one, one and a half. Okay. You know what I mean? So I'm working my way up there. And that's good. That's good. All right. I got to get to it, guys. Always be humble. Guys, at the end of the day, you see? Always be humble. I don't care what, what. You rate your... John from down there picked up his foot as soon as the motorcycle started to move. This, this is the stuff I'm looking for because again, this is all about raising your confidence. And if you ride your motorcycle and you're still keeping your feet out as it's moving, you're showing your lack of confidence when you're riding a motorcycle. So that's good. Glenn, excellent. Uh, now John, when you took off, I noticed you took off foot off the rear brake. Now if you're taking off at a green light and there's nothing in front of you, yeah, you don't need to cover the rear brake, you just go. But remember, we play, we play how we practice. So I want you to always cover the rear brake before you take off. Because it's gonna be relevant and you're doing the right turns and left turns from a, from a stop. The reason why, when we, when, we, when we were in Tennessee and we took that turn to go onto the Dragon from that parking lot, a few people were over that double yellow line. The reason they're over that double yellow line is they're going too fast. They don't, when you go faster, your motorcycle doesn't wanna turn. It wants to go straight, right? So the slower you go, the easier it is to do this. Because we know when we go fast, we turn like this. You go slow, you turn like this, right? Most people don't want to do this, but that's because they're uncomfortable, and that's what we're going to work on today. All right. Uh, any questions? Sandy, um, you're saying your handlebars are too wide? I think they are, yeah. They are, yeah. Turn your, turn your handlebars all the way to the right. Can you reach the clutch? I, I, yeah, but I'm, I'm all leaning forward. That's, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, okay. That's okay. As long as you can reach it comfortably, most people lean forward doing slow speed stuff anyway. That would help. That's what I'm. Right. That's what I was thinking. Exercise number on. two. I got. I want you guys to remember that you're hearing stuff over and over because this is not rocket science. So no matter who you listen to, they're going to be saying the same thing. It's probably just a little different. Exercise number two is the slow ride. Now we all do this. Whenever we go to a motorcycle rally, we see everybody doing it incorrectly. They have their feet out doing it, right? And they're using the front brake. So what we're gonna do is, and what I want you guys to do is, you're gonna come back this way, but you're gonna you're gonna stop at that cone, and I'm gonna walk beside you. Don't walk, don't ride faster than I'm going. The purpose is, I want you to go slow enough so that you feel like you want to put your foot down. But instead of putting your foot down, just open up the clutch because you're gonna be keeping it loaded the whole time. Listen to your throttle, okay? Now, if you want if you're one of these riders that don't want to do that, but you want to go in and out of the friction zone, that's fine too. I only do it this way because I'm trying to I'm trying to simplify this as much as possible. So if you only have one thing to worry about, you're covering your rear brake, you're preloaded and you're keeping it loaded. Not excessively high, so don't worry about your clutch. It's gonna be fine. We have wet clutches, they're designed for this. 
we're also not gonna be doing it for, for two hours, right? From there to here. Listen to your engine the whole time. With Sandy, when you were pulling off, I heard your engine go down a little bit. Listen to it, okay? And if your handlebars are going like this, that's great. I wanna see that. Because if you can go in a straight line, you're going too fast, all right? Any questions? All right, meet you down there. I'll meet you right here. Okay, guys, shh, shh. And when you see, and when you see, you know, like a motorcycle, like John, motorcycle, John, please. Motorcycle squad running, it's it looks perfect. Yeah, yeah. It looks insane. Okay, the fourth, the fourth uh, exercise for today. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. That was that was actually very good. Thank I you. Mean, that was excellent, Camillo. You definitely got to work on your on you. You got to practice, man, because even while we're doing this, you have both your feet out. Now your motorcycle should even be, you should want to keep your feet up even more because I've gotten on this motorcycle. And those floorboards, I mean, practically they, they don't make a lot of you put your foot down, they're hitting you. So every time you put your feet down, you're risking really getting injured with those right. floorboards. Right. So um, I want you to just trust and believe every time you feel like, uh oh, uh oh, this is always the answer. Just keep it loaded, right? Like, again, the purpose is to be the boss of your motorcycle. And all that simply means is, Knowing what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Having confidence, right? So, with that being said, you're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone. Sometimes you have to be you have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. But the beauty is, it's fractions of a second at a time. 
you know, it's not, nothing sustained. All right? Speaking of which, everybody's favorite. Right turns and left turns from a stop. Oh, man. Uh, and an eight step to this exercise. You're going to notice that the first five or four are the same as three. Make sure the motorcycle is in first gear. Cover the rear brake. Sir. It looks like the cones are a little too tight to one another. Did Shouldn't you, know? you space them out a little Especially further? today for us. Well, <laughs> actually, actually, they are spaced out. One thing you'll notice about my practice session is, if you watch competition, the cones are like this. They're all perfect. And the purpose here, I want you to feel confinement, but not claustrophobic. So I don't care if you go outside the cones. Hmm. For instance, when we're making this turn, I'd rather you hit a cone than put your foot down. Because at least we won that battle. And every now and then I see somebody go to put their foot down <coughs> and they don't. They go like this. I love seeing that because you won that battle against your instinct. Bad habits are hard to fight. Instincts are even harder. But they're just in us. If I push you in your back, we don't have to have a conversation about should you put your arms out? It's an instinct. You know to do it. All right? So, make sure you're in first gear. Cover the rear brake. Preload, keep it loaded. Preload, keep it loaded. This is one of the main culprits where as soon as you start to move, you forget about the preload. And that's why you see drops in you're going to see one of two things here. All right, Extra, uh, step number four. Clutch right before the sweet spot, just like over there. Step number five, head and eye. Look in the direction that you want to go. Don't look down. Like I always say, my cone, see how small they are? They're young. It's inappropriate for you to stare at them, okay? Head and eye. Look that way, head and eye, right? I know you guys are going to, I know you guys are going to look down at them, and that's fine. Again. It, it feels ridiculous to do this on a motorcycle. I don't know why. In a car, I do that. But in this, you want to look down. Head and eyes. Step number six, slowly release the clutch into the friction. Seven, as soon, Camilla, as soon as you feel that motorcycle start to move, kick that foot up. But everything's going to be fine. Right? And then step number eight, turn the handlebars. Three things are going to determine the radius of your turn. How fast you're going, how much you turn the handlebars, how much you lean your motorcycle. The beauty of this exercise is there's no leaning. I don't want you guys, I really don't want you to lean. Um, I want you to go through this straight up. And remember, I watched you guys do exercise number two. You did great. All this is exercise number two and just turn the handlebar. It's doing the same thing, right? You're using the rear brake to control your speed, preloading so you have power. As long as you've got power, go into this rear wheel. You guys see when I make a turn, I'm gonna do it in a second. While I'm just be sitting there like this, that's me doing exercise number three. That's all that is. I'm using the power and the rear brake against one another. And that's keeping the motorcycle up. Did you guys see the video I did on my bicycle? I did a video, a lot of people have a fear of turning the handlebar because they feel like the motorcycle's gonna fall. When in actuality, your motorcycle is most stable when the handlebars are turned. Imagine me just, if you ever see me sitting still, you're never gonna see my handlebars like this. And I did this on my bicycle. I put my feet up on my bicycle, I fall immediately. But when I turn the handlebars, I can just stay like this on my bike, right? So, trust me, it's better, your, your motorcycle is more stable with the handlebars turned, so don't worry about that. Um, first time you guys go through here, I want you to just to ride right through, right? If you give a little lean, that's fine. Just realize you're leaning because you're going fast, and you're relinquishing some of the control to your motorcycle. I want you guys to be the horse. Go through, making a left, go through, making a right. Second time you guys come through, I want you to stop. Now, I'll tell you ideally, stop at the line, but again, this is not a competition. If you want to stop back from the line, that's fine too, because how, whatever you're going to do out there, I want you to do here, if it's correct. And that's not a problem. If you want to act like you're pulling a trailer and come all the way over here to make a left turn, that's fine. Not a big deal. Because the more you practice it, you're going to see that's not necessary. All right? I don't want you to make the turn so early that you're clipping this camera or Sandy's camera. Okay? You have plenty of room. I'm gonna run it over. <laughs> yeah, I know it will. <laughs> I'm gonna do a burnout right out of there. <laughs> oh, seven and a half feet. Yeah, your shoelace is on top. Oh, thank you. You guys have seven and a half feet in that turn. Plenty of space. Plenty of space. Ah. Intermission. <clears throat> tie it for you. Glenn, you're a scholar and a gentleman. No, thank you. <laughs> Guys, you know, I only surround myself with excellence. That's what these guys are. Just classy, classy guys. All right, guys, so I'm going to run through this, show you what I want you to do. Like I said, first time, straight through. Second time, stop, then right and left. Third time, 
I want you to stop, and I want you to make this turn and stop here. The reason I added that is I noticed that people would make this turn and get right here and go gun it. <laughs> either hit these two cones or just miss them. Remember, the goal is to always be in control, and at that moment, they're not in control. You should be able to turn and stop. I've had two people, one of them, my friend, who dropped my road kick, say, I was in a turn, somebody got in front of me, and I dropped my bike. Son of a cursing them out. It's not their fault, it's your fault because you don't know what you're doing. So, that's what this is all about. When you make this turn, did you guys see my video on how to come to a controlled stop? A lot of the times we come to a stop and we pull the clutch all the way in. I do the same thing and you just let the motorcycle coast. I'm never going in neutral because people that do that. We don't do that. Coast, 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 and sometimes it works out. I can just come to a stop nice and easy. But sometimes it doesn't work. You feel like this. What's the answer when we feel, uh-oh, -uh, come on. Go into the friction zone. But remember, we're trying to stop. So you're going into the friction zone, but you're applying rear brake at the same time. 70% rear brake, 30% power. You don't need a lot of power, remember, just some. That's always gonna make your motorcycle wanna be true. It wants to stand up, it wants to go straight, but you're stopping. So when you're making a turn, mind you, the people that they were panicking about, they weren't right in front of their motorcycle either, they were way up there. A lot of that problem is also, they're not looking before they turn. Otherwise, they would've saw them. They got their head buried, head and eyes, right? You go to make the turn, you see something, oh crap. Throttle, open up the clutch a little bit to give yourself power. Rear brake, straighten up the handlebars, stop. All right, so here's what I wanted to look like. Let's start from the beginning, going through. that to, to demonstrate a couple of things. One, like I said, using the, the throttle and the rear brake against each other is helping me do that, right? Two, it's helping me be delicate with my rear brake. If I press it too hard, it's gonna throw me to the right. So I have to be very delicate, very delicate. And I'm doing exercise number three. Every time I feel like it's gonna move a little bit, open up my clutch a little bit. But I still get the rear brake because I don't wanna move it. All right? Okay, next time, let me stop. changes. If you notice, that's one thing I like about these tire performance. You can always hear my engine. When you see me coming to a stop, you hear my throttle the whole time until I stop. That's ensuring that I come to a nice easy stop. So you put your foot down like this. Not like this. You know, you don't want to be out of control. It's going to happen sometimes. It's on two wheels. Not a big deal. So now I'm going to put a little lean into it. Yeah, I'm still going to come to a stop. Right.
I already see that rear brake for you is just uh, because I can see that you don't have you guys don't have the fear too much except for, you know Camilla, but he's he's got the least riding experience out of all of you. You don't have that fear of falling so much. So this whole rear brake thing is really working out for you, right? Also, I noticed that some of you guys are coming this close. You're making it, but I want you to picture that this is a double yellow line. I don't want you to be right on it. So sometimes you have to actually pull the clutch in, take power away from that rear wheel, just for a second. And all it's gonna do is make you be able to turn your handlebars more and go right back into the friction zone, right? All right, let's do it. We're bosses out here, baby, we're bosses. Bosses of all types. <laughs> starting to rain, it's wet, and uh, Rob called us in, we'll see, we'll see if uh, we're continuing this uh, session. We have to make uh, some kind of an executive decision. So we're all parked over here, pretty much waiting for the verdict. Glenn is out there practicing. The bikes are wet, huh? It's pretty, very nice up till now. It's this is not easy, but it's fun. It's lots of fun, really fun. See this, guys? Oh, I just, I just bought. You know what that means? It means uh, the lesson's over. The elements have made the decision for us. It's only getting worse from here. So we just picked up the cones and uh, ending the lesson a bit short, and we're gonna be heading out uh, to have some more fun. That's it for this part. I don't know if I'm gonna cut it or it's gonna be one long video, but thank you for watching, guys. This is tons of fun. I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift.
Till the next one. Peace out, guys.